I never thought that I'll be making another video, but here we are. In my previous video, which is a review of the Lenovo K3 Notes, I mentioned about custom ROMs, and I see that in the comments there are a lot of discussions about how to install a custom ROM, how to root, how to flash a custom recovery, and I decided to make this video to teach you the easiest way, the easiest method to root, flash a custom recovery, and also to flash a custom ROM. So let's not waste any time and just get started right away. In the description below, you will see that there are two links. The first link being called ROMs and Recoveries. Inside this link, there will be three files and you need to download all three files for this to work. The second link is called ROMs, which is a collection of custom ROMs that I found on the internet, which is pretty good for this phone. Right now, there are two ROMs. The first one being Limon Cello, which is the ROM I was using in the review. And I think that's the ROM that most people should download and stick with. But in case you're an Android purist, and you can try the AOSP ROM. Either way, you just need to download one file and that will be your custom ROM. So when you have downloaded all the files, just load them to your phone via a USB cable or a micro SD card, and then we are good to go. Let's start. So here we are. As you can see, my phone is currently running the stock ROM that came with the vendor. And you can see here, there are a lot of bloatware, Chinese apps that I don't need. So I want to flash a new custom ROM, so how do I do it? As I mentioned before, you will need to download a few files, the three files from the first link and any one of the custom ROMs from the second link and then load them on your phone. After you have done that, I want you to do a few things. I'd like to stress first that what you see here might be different from what you get because each vendor might sell their phones loaded with a slightly different software. But nevertheless, I want you to try to look for an app called File Browser or a File Manager. In my case, it's right here. And go to the area in which you have downloaded your files. So in my case, it will be in Internal Storage and New Folder. Right. And as you can see, I have the four files here. So what you need to do first, before anything, is to install two apps, Flashify and Kingroot. So let's start with Flashify. And if you see this message which says uh, install block, don't panic, just click on allow and press install. Once the app has done installing, install the next app called Kingroot. Install as well. When both apps are installed, you are good to go. The first thing we'll do, step one. Step one is to root the phone. And the way we'll do it is via the King Root app that we just installed. Now, this is actually not my favorite way of doing things, but for the sake of keeping this simple, we will just stick with King Root. But personally, if I were to do it, I will use another app called Super SU. But as I've said for now, let's just keep it simple. So you want to open up the King Root app. However, note that before you open up the King Root app, you make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi, which I am not. So let me connect to it right now. La -da 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 -da. Once you're connected, open up the King Root app. Oh yes, one thing I almost forgot. Before you do any of these operations, make sure that you are connected to a power source because the last thing you want to happen is your phone to run out of battery while any of these things are happening. So make sure it's connected to a power bank or your power outlet. Let's continue. Now that we're in the Kingroot app, give it a while, they will say root access unavailable, try to root. So click on try to root and let it do its thing. This might take a while. Okay, it's actually taking quite fast, but at this point, it might uh, stall there for a little bit and just let it do its thing. And it should be fine in about two or three minutes. Meanwhile, let me make myself a cup of coffee. Be right back. So after a short while, you should see that it says root successfully. Also, you see that there's a new app called King User that's now on your phone. For now, just leave it there, but as long as if you open King User and it says successfully obtained root, you are good. So, we have done step one. Congratulations, you have just rooted your phone. Now, let's move on to step two, which is to flash a custom recovery. Instead of trying to explain what a custom recovery is, we're just going to flash it first and then 
I'll just show you what it is. Okay, so now you open up the second app that I installed just now called Flashify. Click on accept. Allow. If you do see a case in which it's still checking for root, I'll suggest you close the app and then run it again. And you should be just fine. Now here you can see that there are three files to flash, pick, recovery image, don't touch anything else. This is very dangerous. Okay, pick on recovery image and then choose a file. Now go to the area in which you downloaded your file just now. In my case, it will be under storage and SD card zero and where it is new folder and you can see it twerp 2.8.6 dash k3 note this is the file we want so we click on this and then we click on yup and you will say flashing and in about whoa yeah in about three or four seconds you'll be done and this is where I congratulate you again congratulations because you have just flashed a custom recovery and to flash a custom ROM, you will need to get into the custom recovery. And the way you do this is very simple. First, we will turn off the phone. So we'll hold the side button and click on power off. And let it turn off. So give it a while. Daddy to do. Can you see my face? Once it vibrates, you will know that it has already turned off. And now we're going to turn on the phone again. Oh, maybe you want to disconnect the power, power line first. Okay, so we're going to turn on the phone again. We're going to boot into the custom recovery that we just flashed. And to do so is very simple. All you have to do is make sure that you hold the volume up and volume down buttons. Hold it and don't let go of them. And then simultaneously hold the power button as well. Keep all three buttons depressed. Right? Depressed. I mean just keep pressing all three power buttons. And then you should see the Lenovo logo. Keep press, uh, keep them pressed, and you should see this new screen that you never seen before. If you do, and congratulations, you are now in recovery mode. Now you're in recovery mode, we are going to do a few things first. Number one, backup what you have currently. In case anything goes wrong, then we should be able to restore it just fine. So click on backup, and then you want to backup, you want to backup system user data and also boot so swipe and then it should allow you to back up this will take quite a while so this will be a good time for you to drink the coffee you just made so yep also i forgot again but at this point you want to make sure that you are connected to a power source because again the last thing you want is for the phone to run out of battery while it's doing all this kind of administrative and uh, very dangerous activities. Okay, not really dangerous, but critical activities. So keep a power band nearby and you're good to go. So the recovery has managed to back up all the stuff that we need successfully and that's a good thing. In case any of the following steps fails, we can always restore to this backup. So we're going to click on back, back again, now let's wipe the phone, we go to wipe and then click on advanced wipe and we're going to choose the following options, Delvic cache, system, cache and user data, don't check the second user data, just leave it there and then swipe to wipe. And then you're done. Go back, back, and now we're going to install the custom ROM. Click on install and go to the area in which you put your file just now. So for me, it'll be new folder, and then whoops, and then you can see the ROM that you have downloaded. So in this video, I'm going to use the Limoncello ROM. So click on Limoncello, and you should see this, right? So just swipe to install. And then let it do its thing. Again, this will take quite a while, two to three minutes or more. I don't know, can't remember. And also, yeah. And also, I forgot again. Damn it! Keep the power attached.
So after a while, you should see this message which says, which says successful at the top and then you can reboot system. And at this point, just click on reboot system and pray that everything's fine. Everything will be fine, no worries. I'm just joking with you. But when you first boot the phone after you install a custom ROM, the boot up will take quite a while, maybe upwards to 5 to 10 minutes. And it might be stuck at this screen or another screen, but don't worry. Unless it's really stuck here for more than 10 minutes, that means you have a problem, but otherwise you're just A-OK -okay and let it do its thing. And finally, the phone has booted up. You can see that there's some Chinese here, but it's fine. Click on English and you're good to go. And here, basically, it's back to your normal phone. You can set up everything. If you require, I'm just gonna skip everything else to make sure that everything works. Accept, accept. And you are now using a custom ROM. Congratulations! I mean, if you want to check if the custom ROM is successfully installed, I guess you can go ahead and check here at device information. You can see that it says build number Limon Cello. So that's good. So there you have it, how to install a custom ROM and also how to root and flash a custom recovery. Now at this point, there are a few things that you might want to do. Check out the description for more information about this. Basically, a lot of the custom ROMs that we have now are loaded with a certain spyware application that, while not harmful, but you should remove it ASAP after you flash your custom ROM. And the steps for that will be found in a link in the description below. So there you have it, enjoy your new phone! So, there you have it. This is how you root, install a custom recovery and flash a custom ROM on your new K3 Note. I hope this video has been really helpful and if you have any queries, feel free to ask them in the YouTube comments below or check out subreddit slash r slash Lenovo K3 Note or the XDA forums. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. We've come to the end of another video and I'll see you next time.